Livy Jorgensen, our open heat race winner. She's uh, starting from the mid pack and now to six. Kayla Adamson, Paige Jordan, and Sam Elliott. Nathan Ram, let's go racing. Bailey Chandler would lead him on here for lap number one. Immediately pulling out a few car lengths on the rest of the field. Conroy doing a fantastic job. And we'll go yellow, yellow, yellow. I thought Bailey was just a little bit presumptuous. Those few car lengths were very fast, weren't they, Megan? They certainly were. He is super fast. The Triple S number 10 machine. He is going to be an absolute superstar in the far north Queensland area, this kid. It'll be exciting to watch his journey and where he goes in the next couple of years as well. What division he'll jump into after juniors. But very That's talented young driver. Absolutely. And I hope Livy Jorgensen uh, follows in the footsteps as well. She's not too far away from uh, being into a production or modified sedan. Young Huxley. He wants to be a commentator, you know. Should give him a go one night. If you can get him out of the driver's seat now, he's definitely getting the hang of this whole speedway thing. Absolutely. Flash of green about to come on and we're about to go racing. Take number two for the juniors as they dive down into the one-two turn. It's the birthday boy, Rambo. He will lead him away. Huxley gets a little untidy through the turn. Cottrell giving chase with Hawkins. Back to Adams as well. And we stay clean and green on lap number one. The girls have got a bit of work to do. We saw him battling for that win and he raced number one. But Adams, Jorgensen and Jordan there at the back got work to do if they want to make their way to the front. But lights out for Bailey Chandler and he raced number two. He is pulling away and stretching out that lead at the front of the pack. So he puts Sam Elliott and his lap down here on lap number two. Sam's second ever race here in Junior Sedan, so doing an excellent job. And as you know, Macca, laps are val valuable. Yeah, it's all about seat time, isn't it? Same with uh, young Mr. Pitchfork. <laughs> oh, you hold your breath, don't you? Livy loses a heap of ground now and uh, has to chase that back up. Huxley doing a great job sitting on second spot at the moment. Cottrell in behind them. The best hair in Speedway, by the way, Nathan Ram. <laughs> Mullet Law, that's for sure. Yeah, like up there in that fourth place, putting on the pressure now. So it's tight from about two through to six. Yellows on the clayway. What can you see from the tower, brother? Yeah, number 11, Sam Malley. Just an issue over there right between turns one and two. So. Hiding behind the machinery there for you, Macker. He's just parked up on the inside of the racetrack there. We'll see if he gets a push start here. We'll return. But yeah, Sam Elliott issues here in heat race number two. No one catching Chandler at the moment. i got to tell you, Nathan, as we just touched on with Ryan Davis, congratulations to the track crew and everybody involved in getting this race meeting up and happening tonight. There is no way this afternoon that we thought we were going to be racing. There's definitely a lot of people ready to pack up and go to the pub, Macca, but Wes and the whole crew put their hats on, went out there, and look at the racetrack now. It's sensational. Did, did Wes put his big boy pants on? <laughs> Can't get him to work at work, but out here at a speedway track, the bloke's non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> So we line them back up here and get ready to go green once again in heat race number two. Young Huxley got something here for Chandler. He, he missed the start a little bit, didn't he, Huxley? So hopefully he can go with uh, the birthday boy this time around, Cottrell, right on the bumper of Hux. Lights are out. Wait for the flash of green. Single foul. Nathan Ram past the cone. Chandler for the third time will lead him off. Better start there for Huxley Jorgensen. Can he put a tie rope onto the back of the number 10? Try to stay with him. He won't just yet. A slight under steer there in turns one and two. Give Chandler the advantage he needs. As they'll go five laps to go next time past the flag. Cottrell there in third place doing a fantastic job. Got breathing room behind him now as Hawkins gets all types of sideways coming out of turn four. He'll hold onto it. But Kayla Adams right on the likes of him now. Chandler once again stretching out that lead. So as they run with five laps to go, Chandler's going to lead him over Huxley Jorgensen. Cottrell third, Hawkins fourth, and Kayla Adams rounding out your top five. But under a tremendous amount of pressure, Macca. This is cool to watch, isn't it? The kids flying in formation here at Cairns Speedway. Livy going to the top, Livy going to the bottom. Who decides to go back to the top, the top of the top of the Kayla. Yep. They're going to get a two for one on this lap. Making moves forward, Steve Jordan, obviously the Joker might have done a little bit of tinkering to that car and it looks pretty dialed right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Jorgie's just sitting up in the crowd having a great time. <laughs> it's with a bit of lap traffic now, but Huxley's still holding on to position number two. Cottrell's first season in the car and he's definitely getting the hang of this thing pretty quick as well. These juniors all doing a phenomenal job. 
lost track of the laps before. We better keep an eye on it this time around. Bailey Chandler's got two to run. The birthday boy looking to put one in the bank tonight. Oh, where's Jai going? Up over the rough stuff. <laughs> Hangs on to third spot. Huxley pushing like a D9 dozer again through uh, one and two. White flag a flapping in the breeze as they say Nathan ran for our leader into the one two turn for the last time. Yeah, pretty convincing lead as well with one to go. So now Jorgensen under pressure from Cottrell. He's to be going at it all heat race. The 36 machine got something for Huxley here with one to go right on the bumper coming out of turn two. It's going to be a drag race down the back straight. Oh, mistaken slightly up on the infield there for Cottrell. That'll be all she wrote. As young Chandler takes home heat race number two. And now junior sedans. Jorgensen will come across the line in second. Cottrell home in third. Hawkins fourth page. Jordan in fifth. And Kayla Adams rounds out your top five. Racing to the green. Good job, Bailey. Well done. Come on, Sylvan, grab the birthday boy very quickly and have a quick chat on Clay Perview. Great to have Clay Perview in the house once again. In a while since we've had him up here at Cairns. We'll just wait for Bailey to pull into victory lane. Come on up there in three and four, put your hands together for him. And when he comes down the front straight, folks, let's hear those horns. It's his birthday, Bailey Chandler. Oh, Molyneux gets into the side of him. <laughs> well, there you go. Clay Perview catching all the action on the infield. Oh, well, there you go. One for your birthday right into the side. Happy birthday, young man. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Not a bad start tonight. I'd like to thank Jordan, Dad, Mum, and all the family coming out to support and having a watch. 15 today. Yeah, yep, 15. Mate, uh, you have been in absolutely sensational form. We've loved every minute of watching you race around this season. Congratulations on your birthday. Now just crown it with a feature. Go get them tonight. Yeah, we'll try to anyway. Thank you. Happy birthday one more time for Bailey Chandler. As he rolls away in the beautiful number 10 machine. 